Hello and welcome to King Tonto's World. How you all doing? I have been meaning to do a question and answer section for you all for a time being now, but here it is. I made a post on my Instagram asking for questions that you all would love to know. Um, ask me and get to know me better. I said 50 and I got 50. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my food. Fifty questions with King Tonto, as seen on Instagram. The first question, Tonto, how do you manage bad media frenzy? Hmm. Um. The truth is, half the time I am actually the last person, if not the only person, who never gets to see a bad news about me. Why that is, is because I don't do blogs. I don't go to blogs. I don't search blogs. I don't surf blogs. I don't Google my name to find out what it is that you're writing or, the, or anybody or what opinion any other person has about me. I don't do that. So that keeps me in check, makes me sane. Um, I have a very tight team. None of my team will send me a negative report. The only time I get to see probably negative things about me is probably when an outsider gets to send it to me. But then again, I have over the years developed a very thick skin that I really don't care about what's out there as long as I know my own truth. So um, I get to go by every day or I get to overcome negative circumstances and news by just simply believing more in myself and loving myself more. Number two, what is one lesson life has taught you? Um, patience. I'd say one thing that life has taught me is, or one of the most important things that life has taught me is how to be patient. Um, with patience comes a lot of success. Uh, you see, the times when I have done things without exercising patience and I've never really gotten to the destination. And um, after I had my son, my son actually taught me how to be patient because you have to really be patient with a baby. Um, prior to him, I've never really been around a baby before or taking care of a baby before, so he was my first close contact baby so he taught me how to be patient and I learned that so yeah life taught me to be patient number three will you ever consider getting married again of course yes don't even play yourself like seriously don't play I will get married again and <laughs> maybe very soon Number four, um, why are you no longer acting? Well, um, it's not like I have stopped acting, literally. I just haven't seen anything that favors me at the moment. Um, coming up as an, as an upcoming artist back in the, in the days, I, my success was fast forwarded, or it was on fast forward. I did everything too soon. I played all the characters. There was no character existing that I have not actually played before. Go out. Go to the history of my movies and you'll see. So I, I'm actually looking for something unique. I'm actually looking for a unique project that would actually characterize my artistic skills, not just my ego. Because doing a movie now is I've done it before. I'm just acting because I just want to act. I, I want to make a meaning. I want my movies to make a meaning. So yeah, okay, no, I still act. Number five, has Bob Risky been, has, has Bob Risky really transgendered? Uh, well, I'm sorry to bust your bubbles. I don't talk about my friends in private or in public. All right, if you have a question for him, I'm sure you know where he is to ask him. Thank you very much. Number six, Aside your son, what else do you cherish more? 
um aside my son which it's obvious that i love so much and i cherish a lot i love my foundation my foundation is like my second baby it's like my second home and why is it it's, it's a child to me it's something that i've nurtured from when he was young and up to now it's um it's an opportunity for me to actually be human in an inhumane world. It's an opportunity for me to actually be who I am despite the fact that the world wants to get me down or despite the fact that circumstances actually consistently try to pull me down. It's, it's something that gives me a lot of joy to just put smiles on people's faces to give back to the society, to help the less privileged, to send people to school, and to do so much for people, changing lives and putting, making lives better. It's something that I actually cherish a lot. So yes, after my son comes my foundation, which is the Tone to Decay Foundation. Number seven, what satisfaction do you get from carrying out numerous surgeries? Simply put, happiness. It makes me happy and I believe that whatever makes you happy you should keep doing it and so that's the answer I keep doing it because it makes me happy number eight best memories of your previous marriage ah, best memories best memories probably my son, yeah, the day I gave it to my, my boy, that's, that's the best memory. For number nine, who is your celebrity crush? I do not know what a crush means. I don't know if a crush means like someone that you like, you can have, someone that you admire, someone that you have sexual feelings for. I'm not sure, but I do not have emotions for anybody in the industry but i do have a sexual feeling for someone in the industry and um whew. okay yeah i can say it's my celebrity crush right <laughs> should i oh no no come uh um See, it's just going to be misunderstood if I just call the name of the person. Like, I don't crush on anybody in the industry. I just know that I have someone that I'd like to fuck. That's all. And if I call his name now, it's... <sighs> no, I, I can't give you that information. I'm sorry. I'll take it to my grave. Number 10, would you consider pushing your music career? Um, I would love to if I have the time. For now, I'm, I, I really run low on time. Being a mother, being an entrepreneur, being a business owner of multiple businesses, and having my foundation and you know running my own life, I, I, I don't see the possibility of me doing it, but I would love to. Something I would really, really, really love to if I do have the chance again to do. Number 11, can you take up a Yoruba movie? Of course, yes, I can, but there'll be a lot of delays on that set because I don't speak Yoruba. So you have to teach me like every line, every word, everything I say. But yeah, I could take it, waste your time, take your money. <laughs> I can, I can, I can, for real. Um, who is Tone to DK really? Um. I am just a simple girl. I'm just a very simple girl with strong morals, strong personality. Um, I am brave. I have a very wonderful heart. I'm simply just the girl next door. You know, just seriously, the girl next door. That's who I am. Number 13, what is the most challenging thing you had to do as a woman? As a woman, the most challenging thing for me is giving birth. It's, it's, even, it's even being pregnant. It's 
Pregnancy has been my greatest care. It's been the biggest, hugest phobia for me. Like, I can't even go close to a pregnant woman. Even right now, like after giving birth, I can't stay close to a pregnant woman. I just feel like, I don't want to say irritated, but kind of like that, kind of like that, you know? Um, and I actually felt that way with myself too. So for me to conquer that fear, it's, you know what they say, I have a phobia, like people say I have a phobia for height. I have a phobia for pregnancy, like for, for pregnancy. Have a friend ever backstabbed you before? Hmm, oh yes, a lot of them, a lot, a lot. It's, it, 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 it tends to be a numb these days, but shame to who, them, not me. <laughs> Fifteen, would you ever marry again? Yes, definitely, I would get married again. It doesn't even feel like I did, I got married before. It was for like, like what, one minute? Of course I'll get married again. Would you love to have more kids? <sighs> yeah, I... I would love to adopt more kids. Have you ever been broke? Of course I have been broke. Every good, intelligent, strong, great businessman or woman ought to have been broke once in a while. Number 18, do you ever think you would find true love? I, I don't think I would find true love. I know I have found true love. King Andre DK. That's my one true love. Is Tonto as crazy as the internet portray? Uh, well, I don't think so. I, it's 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 elaborated on the internet. That's the truth. I'm a very chilled, fun, you know, girl. Have you had sex after your failed marriage? Um, well, I'm celibate. Being celibate means I'm not having sex. Number 21. What inspires you? What inspired you to name yourself King Tonto? Uh, I'm one, I'm a very spiritual person, I'm highly spiritual. Like I'm one of the people who actually believe that this world is more spiritual than it is physical. It's actually 99% spiritual than it is 1% physical. We are put on the 1% that we see. And I, I, I believe that your name takes charge of who you are. My name is Charity Rigo Tonto DK. It means love stands out holy and strong. That's what my, whole, my name means. And it's what I have been. It's what I've stood for. It's what I've been standing for. It's, what, it's how strong I am. It's the eagle in my name. That's where my strength comes from. It's the lion in my DK. That's where my strength comes from. It's the king in my royalty, in my kingship. That's why I appear like a royal. So I think I just, but it's something, it's a, it's a personal decision. It's, it's a spiritual decision, so. Who are your friends in the industry? Like, I, I talk to people, but I don't have friends in the industry, and I just feel like it's such a dangerous thing to do, having friends in the same profession, friends who have, who want the same things that you do, friends who probably want your own life, I think it's a very dangerous thing, so I, I don't indulge in friends in the industry, but I am very, very good with at least 95% of everybody in the industry, yeah. So it's not a beef thing, it's just a discipline thing. My friendship, my love, my everything, my life is outside my industry. Why are you not working as a petrochemical engineer? Simply put, Life, life happens and that's why I'm not working as a petrochemical engineer. That's why I'm an actor. You used to be close to Halima Abubakar. What happened? 
Hadima Abubakar is still a very close acquaintance of mine. She's in the industry. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're very good. We're still very, very close. Who is your bestie? My best friend is my son. King Andre DK is my best friend. Number 28. I would love to see you and Mercy Johnson in a movie together. I also would love to see I and Mercy Johnson in the movie together because I know that I and my sister are gonna kill it. And we're gonna make money. Like, do you understand? Everybody wants to see I and Mercy. We like we were like the hottest thing in Nollywood for like over 10 years. So and we never really did a movie together. So yeah, yeah. I think the producer of that movie will be a very lucky guy because that's what the world wants to see. The world has been waiting for a Tonto and a Messi movie. And trust me, we will kill it. So yes, Messi, I wait that script. We've gotten a lot of opportunities, although, but something just comes up. Is that she's traveling or I'm traveling or we just don't like the script together or something happens. We, we, we're just waiting for the right moment, I think. What is your driving force? The truth is, uh, from when I have been having a child, there is this thing to say in my place. I get them before no be property. My driving force is failure. Not just failure, it's failing and never being able to get up. I, fa I failed a lot of times. I failed so many times in my life, but I never stayed down. That doesn't make me a failure. But being a failure means falling and not getting up. Why are you best friends with Bob Whiskey? It's that question. Why, you, why did your father give birth to you? Why did your mother give birth to you? Why are you going to the same church you're going to? Because I like him. What is your dream man like? Ah, oh, my dream man. My dream man is a whole lot. You definitely have to be very rich. You have to be very rich, comfortably, so you can be able to take care of me because I'm not giving no man my money anymore. Like, I'm not contributing a dime to no relationship, financially, not doing that. So yeah, first of all, you have to be very rich. Second of all, you have to love me. You have to love me. I'm not saying you have to say you love me. You have to love me. Then you have to be God-fearing. And I love a man with purpose. Sometimes money in your account doesn't mean wealth. Sometimes your ideas, sometimes where your life is going to, the, 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 the path in which your life is taken is actually wealth. So yeah, a man who has prospects, a man who, who isn't star crazy, like the one thing I hate is I am with a man and you are friends, you want to be friends with every celebrity in the world. Like, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. I, I hate men who are industry crazy. Like, that's not a dream for me. That's not, that's not one of the characterizations of a dream man for me. Um, above all this, above all this, you should be able to love myself. Do you have another Instagram account? Well, I run only three Instagram accounts, and that's one for my foundation, the Tone to DK Foundation, one for my son, King Andre DK, and one for myself, King Tonto. Uh, aside that, I don't run none other. I don't have any other, and possibly, okay, no, yes, I do have one. I do have uh, another one. For a business page of ours, which is the Yifi, yeah, that's for um, the seed fund something, yeah, four. Can you marry a Muslim? Yes, of course. My boyfriend is Muslim. I am dating a Muslim man, and um, I wouldn't be in a serious relationship with him if I did not feel like I, I might, I could end up with him. Um, for me, it's not the religion, I think it's more of the person. Yeah, I can.
how do you cope with being a single mom and other businesses um well the thing is i am a very good planner i know how to plan a lot my home is close to my son's school my son's school is close to my businesses my business is close to my foundation office my office is close to my farm i have things like my life is all just almost around me so it's easy for me to actually transport myself to one place or the other so um I have most of my life just really around me, so I plan a lot. Good planning. Good planning has helped me overcome being a mom and handling my businesses very well and stuff like that. Yeah, good planning. Um, number 35, what is your, your beauty secret? Um, I don't really have much beauty secret. I, um, I drink a lot of water, I eat a lot of vegetable, local vegetable and English vegetable, which is salad and soups. I um, use a very good product, skin product, Pearls International. Um, I, I take a lot of fruits. I use very good makeup, which is Zikel Cosmetics. So yeah, I, that's, that's about it. Number 36, when would you consider producing something or a beauty product? Well, that's a lot of, I get a lot, I, I get that question a lot. The truth is I have a lot of products out there in the market which I do not put my name on simply because I do not want to have my name on it. So I have products out there that my name is not on it. But yes, for the ones that you want to see my name on it, definitely it's coming real soon, real, real soon. Number 37, what is love for you? For me, love is unconditional. Love is the greatest gift ever. Do you speak your language? No, I don't and I regret that every single day of my life. What does it takes to be Tonto. It takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of believing yourself. It takes a lot of self-love. It takes a lot of knife and stuff behind your back like that. It takes a lot of smile. It takes a lot of play. It takes a lot of grace. It takes a lot of prayers. It takes a lot of love to be me. Number 41, what are my casual days like? My casual day, every day is casual to me. Like life is a very casual occasion to me. Like that's how I, that's how I treat it. It's nothing is ever too serious. So no day is ever too serious. Between every day is serious because I got to work and do it. So, but my, it's just casual. Number, 42, are you friends with Toke Makenwa? Toke Makenwa is my sister. Yeah, she's my sister. What are your dirty secrets? I'm going to assume this person, I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna skip it because you said dirty secrets, secret, secret means secrets, right? So. <laughs> Don't mind me. Number 45. What inspired the name King Tonto? I think I already answered it in the previous question, so yeah, that, that's off. Number 47. Who would you want to feature in a movie with? I love to feature. Angelina Jolie in a movie. I love to feature um, Sandra Bullock. I love to feature um, this. There's this comedian. I can't. I don't know her name. This is really bad. And, but because I'm, I'm a huge fan, she's a comedian. She's actually plumpy. Identity Thief. The lady in Identity Thief. Yeah, I love to feature her. I love them. I think they're great actors. And um, yeah, also the woman in. Um, how to become a mother or how to get away with mother the, the black one 
yes 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 that one I, I love to I love to stir in the movie with all of them number 48 what's the best part of your body the best part of my body simply is and will always remain my vagina that's the most magical part of my body that's the most magical part in in the whole world I mean it bet my son that's the favorite part the best in the world came out from there Number 49, what would you love to wake up to? I love to wake up to love every day. Love. Number 50, which is the last, last but not the least. Translate this to English. When breeze go blow, found yash go show. When secrets are out, the devil is revealed. Oh shit! <laughs> give me five! Give me five! I got that. See, look, you can't even do as much as I did. Me, I, I can't even remember what I said, but that was dope. That was dope, right? That was dope. That was dope. That was dope. So yeah, thank you very much for watching another episode of King Tonto's World. I hope you enjoyed my question and answers. Uh, well, if you do have more questions for me, please do send. I have time to make another video and entertain you so thank you very much don't touch that dial okay and please subscribe of my channel subscribe to my channel and introduce your friends and family to my channel i love you